Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little favour box. It's very sweet and very charming and it's kind of, we're, we're getting into wedding season and you know, men like favours too. So I've got a little boy version, guy version, male kind of favour, maybe for birthday favours, wedding, you know, all sorts. So, and it uses the envelope punch board. Now I did use the envelope punch board a couple of days ago. It was on a bit of an envelope punch board fest. But this one only uses six by six paper. So I'm using this lovely one whose name has fallen out of my head. I wanna say it's Guy Greetings, but I know that is not right. Um, truly tailored, there we go. Guy Greetings is a stamp set. So this is horizontal paper, but when you use it on the envelope punch board, it goes diagonal, lovely effect. So six by six inches, punch and score at two inches and four inches so in metric your paper is 15 by 15 and you're punching and scoring at five and ten centimeters and actually even though there is a score guide it will be the same measurements all the way around because it's a it's um it's not a cube but it is a square based box it's not a rectangular box okay i do like it when stripes vertical or Vert straight stripes that doesn't make sense vertical or horizontal stripes go through the envelope punch board because they get rec they get um they go diagonal lovely effect okay just quickly round these corners and we're on the use it up challenge we're in the final days um before this catalogue retires and the new one starts so Hopefully, everybody will be have received their catalogues from me. If you haven't or you would like one, go to poodles.co.uk. Uh, that is my website. And on the right-hand side is a button that says request a free catalogue. So you can order one. So that will be the new one, obviously. So and it's full of gorgeousness. But this paper is leaving us. The stamps that I'm going to use is staying, and the punch I'm going to use is staying. Okay, so I folded all my score lines, and it kind of depends which way you want your rectangles to go up, uh, rectangles, your diagonals to go, but it doesn't really matter because it's a square. So take one part, and you've got a triangle that points towards you. Let me fold it this way, you can see it, and then vertical lines. Cut up those there and there, and on the opposite side. Okay. Thought I'd turned my phone on mute. Apparently not. Somebody sending me a PM. Okay, so fold there and there, or cut there and there, and it's going to fold round and all close up like that. Lovely little box. So get some adhesive, fast fuse. That's going to go if it hasn't already. I know the last time I looked, the refills had gone. but grab your fast fuse if you love it. So I'm building up the box now. How cute do these stripes look? See, they've gone diagonal. That's so cute. Oh, look, and it's perfectly matched there. Is that the only side? No, that one perfectly matched, and so did that. Oh, love it. So fold those in like that. We're gonna close it with ribbon. And um, I brought out the Pear Pizzazz for this one because it was going with the chocolate chip. But this has got Night of Navy, Tranquil Tide and Very Vanilla. I haven't got any ribbons in any of those colours apart from a gingham and white. But this is the new um, Shaded Spruce. So I'm going to use this one. And you will be able to get it in a couple of days time. Oh, now I pulled the wrong end. <laughs> I'm trying to make that length shorter. There we go. When a paper box doesn't have anything in it, it makes life a little bit difficult because it's not holding its shape. Um, once it's obviously full, it does hold its shape. You could fit loads in this. You could fit, fit sweets and treats. You probably wouldn't fit miniature 
the cure bottles, which seems to be a bit of a popular thing with favours, but um, yeah, sweets, chocolates, loads. Oh, my bow's gone in the wrong direction. I have to fiddle around with that. There we go, that's better. And I'll cut off my ends. And then my stamping. That's better. So what I've used is the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set. And I've got this hooray from in here. Um, and it does go on the outside. So um, I don't have a shaded spruce pen. I do have a Knight of Navy pen. I haven't got my shaded spruce yet, I should say. Uh, there's my Knight of Navy. Because I only want the inside part. And that feels like it's got glitter on it. Bear with me. I've got my stamping scrub here to my right hand side. That's better. <laughs> I've got some very vanilla uh, card stuck there and I'm just taking the side, the fat end of my brush and I'm taking the side of it and brushing over the words. I love markers. I love markers because they make, um, you can do loads of effects and obviously you can selectively ink up your stamps. So I think I've got everything there. Not as easy on a photopolymer. And onto there and then I'm going for the Taylor Tag Punch and I do want it to be quite far down the bottom. Because when I grab my faceted gems, I'm just going to slide it through. And I'm going to have a big one at the top that will anchor it in place. So that's not going to move. And then a smaller one at the bottom, just for effect. And there we go. A little paper box made. Rather cute. And in nice manly paper. It doesn't look manly. That one does. Perfect. So one set of paper, all sorts of, all sorts of people who might like. What do you think? Super cute. Oh, and quick too. Just looking at the time. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.